School getting ready to start in the next week or so. We want to bring in Heather Brom Cook, a uh, teacher at Cross Schools who has just been awarded a really special award as an Alfred Lerner Fellow. Uh, Heather, welcome in. You ready for school to start? Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's this week, so yeah. it's a countdown. You're quite right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, Jewish Foundation of the Righteous Award, the Alfred Lerner Fellowship uh, that you recently received. Uh, what is it and what's it mean to you? So the um, Jewish Federation for the Righteous have a summer institute and it's known as the Alfred Lerner Fellowship. It's awarded to Holocaust educators and they are selected uh, via the state representative council. So in this case, the South Carolina Council on the Holocaust. And you access the uh, course through the council, which is very special, which is why it is a little different to just simply applying. Um, it allows educators already involved in teaching Holocaust to immerse themselves with eminent scholars and to obviously share with other teachers from different states. That's terrific. Um, Discussion of the Holocaust has become a controversial topic for some reason over the last few years. Um, obviously, you're teaching it. Uh, what are you teaching and, and are you having to be concerned about uh, some of the concerns other people have had? Uh, teaching the Holocaust is an important part of history sure. is um, my approach. I think an understanding of the history behind the Holocaust is essential. Most students, through no fault of their own, uh, are not exposed to European history until much later in their school career. And so it's up to teachers like myself to position how the Holocaust became, what led up to it. It is not easy to give simple answers to complex questions. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Um, you talk about them being uh, finally getting exposed to it sometimes later on. What grades are you teaching? And so where are you exposing? The kids I teach high school and mostly uh, this course is appropriate for 11th and 12th graders. Okay. It is a Holocaust and human behavior course. But the Holocaust comes up as a state mandate through many grade levels in high mm -hmm. school in South Carolina. Okay. And, and at cross schools, the, the, it, it's the, your focus on it then is in junior and senior years? Yes, it's most appropriate then. Okay. Uh, last month you participated in the uh, Jewish, uh, you were participated in, the, in the, obviously, the Summer Institute. Uh, you've talked a little bit about the program. Expand on that. What, uh, what areas are you learning about, maybe, even, uh, to, to bring back to the kids? Yes. So I mentioned uh, eminent scholars. One of them was Doris Bergen, and she has written a book, War and Genocide, and I use that to teach with. So being able to be with the author who wrote the book is important. She gave us a little glimpse uh, on uh, revision items. So she labeled one reverse the gaze, and it aligned for me. It resonated because I do believe in setting up background, and it was just what I was looking for. She used an example of uh, working with a Weimar Republic um, artist um, pre-war. And so I did some research. You're encouraged to redo your uh, lessons, relook your lessons. Okay. And I uh, did a very similar thing using a man called uh, Franz Mazaril, whose book, The City, was published in 1925. It's mm. a selection of woodcuts, and it's really any city in Europe, but obviously it pertains to um, German cities. And okay. so I revised a lesson on uh, early Weimar Republic using his artwork. In other words, I'm going to ask students to do to use this primary source from an artistic lens, uh, not text heavy. And I think that gives variety and opens up um, sort of a free and safe space for students to discuss very sensitive subjects. Boy, it is a sensitive subject. Uh, sensitive is probably a better word to use uh, than, than the one I used, controversial. Um, what, what is the essence of uh, the Holocaust as it applies to today's uh, Europe and, and, and today's political situation? Um, the Holocaust um, brings up terms like anti-Semitism, anti-Judaism, and I think that um, these terms need to be uh, discussed and explained or engaged with. Uh, anti-Semitism manifests an intolerance and um, I think that as young people, uh, students need to be aware of how that impacts us as citizens. Good stuff. I appreciate the time. Uh, congratulations on the fellowship and uh, 
Uh, I'm looking forward to, to hearing what the kids from Cross have to say about your teachings uh, in the coming year. Again, uh, Heather Brom Cook, uh, teacher at Cross Schools, thank you so much for joining us and good luck in the coming school year. Thank you for having me. When we come back, the latest on video game noise, how it's affecting your kids now and in the future.